ITFP, sponsored by AC Electrical and Security and Combat Sports Center. A welterweight contest consisting of three three-minute rounds. And your referee for this contest, Mr. Harvey Harrow. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time in the blue corner, representing Jet Singh Trust, making his amateur debut this evening, Aaron Bolton! And his opponent in the red corner, representing Team Mahiko, also making his amateur debut this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time, Kayu so we've got an amateur welterweight fight again. We've got a couple of weight classes for this one. We've got Kyle Jacks uh, making his debut fighting out of Team Mexico and Aaron Bolton also making his debut fighting out of Jet Singh Trust. They both look quite rangy, don't they? Yeah, two rangy guys, yeah. It's going to be an interesting fight. Two amateurs. Leg kicks are open up there by Kyle Jack. Straight in for the clinch there as well. Yeah, straight in for the clinch. He looks like he's got that neck. He has, but I don't think there's anything there. He's just using it to defend, I think. Oh. Oh, now he's got, now he's now got, now the, he's neck. got the neck. Nice That's little scramble on. there, though. That is on. That is tight. He needs, no, he's rolled through. Great, Great defense there, very active. For a guy in his debut, that was fantastic defense. He's got and he's just straight to the man there. As well. Aaron Bolton, he's got a lot of support behind us as well. He'll be looking to uh, to posture up and rain down some shots here. Very impressive from Bolton, the way he rolled through that choke, because that choke was on. That choke was and on, he rolled he'd through nicely. legs, that would have been over. He would have gone out really quick with how tight that was, but his movement was fantastic. Oh, really and a impressive. nice little reversal there from Carl Jackson and uh, escapes the full mount. We see that so often, especially amateur guys. He's for a triangle choke here. He's, he got is, yeah. He's got the triangle. And he has got the triangle. He, he needs just to needs get to pull his foot down under the knee. Pull his head down. He yeah, pull his head down. He needs to get that leg. Yeah, he's, he's cinching that up. Yeah, he's got the arm across as well. He needs to hook. Softening it with a few no, little he's, shots he's there. He's freed his arm there. He needs to get that arm across. And he needs to get a leg so he can't posture up. What's he going to go for there? He's, he's lost the... He needs to tighten up now. He's got. Yeah, he's tightening up. He needs to. Uh, he needs to pull that ankle down. That that left ankle. There's a bit of room there. I think he needs to get the arm across his uh, across his body as well, and because that's obviously what's going to want to get the choke. Unless he changes the angle of, of it. Yeah. One thing he has to be careful about here yeah, is uh, he's blowing out the legs and. Uh, he's got that on now. He's that got is on. tight. He's got, he's got the arm across and he's grabbing his leg. He, what, referee's watching close now to make sure he doesn't go out. That is very tight. It's very tight there. He's telling you what, he's Carl Jacks is still hanging on in there. I'd be worried about him going out here, though. And it's tough to see as well, because his head's almost and into the canvas. The trap, and so he's going to struggle to tap there. But now he's put the arm across. He, I tell you what, he's holding the position, but he's just not able to get that finish. No. He needs to push that arm across. Jacks is doing well to defend here, isn't he? He's obviously tough. He's going it out. But you've got now, he, now that's what he needs to do. Now that's on. The arm is going to be choking him now. It's a slow choke. Now he's freed himself again. Freed himself again, and he's kind of using that, that old school can opener it's, sort of. It's very impressive for a debut to have such good composure and defence in such a horrible position. Now he's got the arm across again. Again. But he really needs it. to get out of that position entirely and burst out that when he gets the chance. That looks on again now. That looks on again. He's got 10 seconds. He's got to grit I it out for. I don't think he's going to be able to finish it in 10 seconds unless he goes out. No, he, the defence the defense there from Jax has been really impressive. Yeah, fantastic. And, and as I said briefly earlier, how much is that going to take out of the, uh, of the legs of, uh, of Aaron Bolton? Because he looks a bit wobbly on his feet. He's very young, though. He looks He's very young. Uh, I mean, would you, I, you know, I'd be close to scoring that as a 10-8 round. Because he had him in that submission for what two minutes? Uh, yeah, he a was minute and a half at, 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 at least. He was in that. He was in the full mount as well. Um, Although he didn't land a great deal while he was in that position, but then he, he yeah spent a good two minutes attacking with that triangle. Carl Jacks did well to defend, but it's interesting to see how much that's taken out of both fighters. They both the, look tired. They both do and look they're, tired. They're both they're both young as well, so they're going to have youth and energy on their side, but. He looks tired after holding that submission for so long, but he's just he's had his airways blocked. Yeah, he's so he's not having the oxygen going around his body. It's not it's not getting to him like it, his blood's not really like it should be because of being in that choke for so long. So 
they, I mean, they both look like they've already done five rounds be because of the of the position they were in. Yeah, and um, and Alan Bolton looks quite quite wobbly there on his feet, and uh, he's probably jelly. His legs are probably yeah. turned to jelly. Yeah, and he's. Uh, it be, this is it, it's where Hart comes into it now. See what Bolton does. I mean, yeah, Bolton's I think he's got a feel he's got an advantage on the ground after that. Yeah, definitely. Kicking the legs is a good idea. <laughs> it certainly is. If uh, if he's been holding on to, um, oh, what's the break for? And we're throwing in the towel. Here. I think uh, I think they're giving him a bit of a soaking with the water bottle to uh, to try and wake him up for the second round and get a bit, a bit too much of a soaking. Yeah, they're back off again. Tell you what, leg kicks there. Uh, it's a very from, clever tactic for a guy on his debut to to notice that. His I legs are going to be. His legs could be burnt out from that triangle. I Let's attack the legs. Dan, Dan Good in his corner. He's, he's had a few fights. Yeah, he's had a few fights well. on this uh, promotion. Including a, a win over, of course, Mr. Cassell. Who yeah. Cassell got back. Mr. Cassell got back. Be interesting to see if they have the trilogy fight. I think Dan Good's retired now. There you go. He's gone for the. Has he got? He's got control head. I thought he was going to go for a choke there, but he's just controlling him. Again, he's going for that guillotine again. Look. He is. Yeah. And that. It looks on, and as they get tired, I think that's going to be harder for him to fight through. I mean, if he just grips the sinks, if he sinks his arms there, he's got the and choke there. There he has got it, and he rolls back for it. Rolls oh, it to the mountain. Guillotine. guillotine. That's that's that is over. tight. He's tell you what, he's got some heart on him, and he's not giving it up. He rolls it to the full mount. He's going to he's going to pull himself out of it. He's tapping. He's, he's tapping. Oh, what a fantastic finish. Very good. They were both exhausted. After they that were both round. exhausted, but what a great finish. That was such a... Carl Jack. I think he's he blown his legs in the first round with that. I think so, that, holding uh, on to that triangle. But what a great finish. I mean, up against the fence, he saw that the neck was available. He, he pulled it through, rolled through for the mounted guillotine yeah. and just locked it on tight. It was a, what a fantastic finish. Again, two, two, two young kids making their debut. Very, very impressive from both of them. Uh, and they're both going to take, they're both going to learn from this. What I liked as well, that they were both put in vulnerable positions and they both showed the heart to stay in that position, not to panic. Because even in that guillotine choke, he didn't give up straight away. He tried to work his way out of it. Eventually he couldn't, of course, and, and, and then he, he submitted. Uh, but he didn't, he did try and work out of it before he submitted. Yeah, it's... I mean, the, the submission defence from both guys was superb in that fight. I mean, obviously we saw the tap in the end from Aaron Bolton, but prior to that, the, there were multiple opportunities for for either guy to, to, to tap, and, uh, and they did. And I think we're going to pass over now for the uh, for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for both of these fighters! <laughs> Referee Harvey Harris stopped this contest in the second round to the winner by a guillotine choke, Kyle Jacks! I'm standing alongside your winner, Kyle Jack, and we've been saying it all night, but the quality of you debuting amateurs stepping into this cage has been phenomenal. That first round was a bit of a war. What were, they, what were you told in between rounds? Just to uh, keep my composure, move, make space, move, look for the submission, that's just what I've done. 
any nerve at all stepping into this cage, but because both of you, bo both of you represented yourselves and your, your gyms incredibly well. Any nerves? Any? Yeah, of course. That was a bit of first time nerves, but that's it. Now I'm ready to take over. <laughs> Fucking. That's... While I'm here, also, can I just say thank you to everyone that came and supported me? A big thank you to Dan and my corner team. Brilliant gym, fucking couldn't ask for a better team. My beautiful girlfriend for helping me for everything. My family, this means fucking lot. Well, let us thank you for the entertainment. A hell of a debut, a hell of a finish. Congratulations, sir. Thank you.